Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. We're reading for the fourth week of October. I don't usually date them, guys, because honestly, um, time is fluid and so is energy. So, you know, these are just weekly readings. They shift, they change. You know how it goes. You know how it flows. All right. And those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I only ask one small favor. You like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content or you uh, resonate with it. Please uh, leave me your comments. I love your comments. I read all of them. They, not only that, I feel like, you know, when, when you share your comments, guys, you share with other people that might possibly be going through the same thing as you and someone all doesn't feel so alone. All right. So with that said, please listen to your moon and your rising again. As I said, as I always say, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, let's begin. Gemini. All right. Hmm. Now, please, guys, I, I read dual energies because we're and sometimes there's three energies on the table. It doesn't matter. But you guys are smart enough to discern if this energy is you or your partner. Same thing with cross watcher, cross watcher. You could be the Gemini in this reading and they are your sign. You take it how it resonates. You flip the energies. If it's it just means I'm reading dual energies. And if you resonate with it you don't get so stuck on the sign as it is as itself. In any of them, from what I'm seeing here, there's been a lot of stress and anxiety over a situation. You've been holding on to somebody or something here, and you recently received a message. Um, it looks like some of you were dealing with some kind of marriage situation where you had some form of stability and someone here had their heart ripped out painfully. So, but then you healed the situation you found stability and you decided to take a leap of faith towards something else, something new, someone new. Um, but there was some kind of like cheating here. Could be ghosting, could be stealing, could be lying. So if this is stealing, lying could be also work related. Whatever the situation is, you feel very stuck in your mind. I almost feel Gemini like there's some kind of fork in the road for you guys. Like you're trying to decide between something that's stable and something that's exciting or something like that. Of course, however it resonates with work, money, or love. But you have a situation here where you feel crippled and you don't know how to get out of it. Um, that's a temporary feeling. It just means you haven't figured out the solution because it's not what, as bad as you think it is. Now, Gemini, page of wands. You might have recently received information that at one point was good news, but no longer. you're starting to look at it like it's not anymore. It's not good news. Now it's like stressful. Um, it's a situation in regards to you feel like it's not balanced. You're not getting enough or you're not, you, your world wasn't getting anything. It, it, their lack of excitement, peanuts, just maybe sometimes even keel, maybe not even enough, but a lack of excitement. I don't know. It looks like you're pondering this situation. What's coming towards you? Nine of wands in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. Oh, Okay nine eight and we're getting to the tens this is like at some point you were like because this is what's coming towards you this feels like not being the wounded warrior not putting in the work to something dropping your um insecurities being vulnerable uh dropping your guard uh but there's also a lack of action here too so this tells me because wands is action it's movement it's doing it's working but this is the lack thereof so there's something telling me here that there's a lack of movement or work towards a situation it just almost feels like a stagnation but not it's like a frozen in time i guess for you to make this decision because you really are in your head right now over something this could be you this could be you sneaking away from someone or something i i don't know because we have all these swords and all these wands in reverse so it's in your mind and lack of action is what I'm currently seeing because it feels as if like you're, you're waiting for something or you're trying to decide on something. Now, what you absolutely don't see coming towards you is this beautiful card, the Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment, happiness within a family dynamic or you and your other person. It doesn't matter. This is dual energy. This isn't just you happy. This is both of you happy. In your advice, somebody is offering you a stable new opportunity in love. It says go for it. 
that's in your advice position. Someone's going to offer you a stable new uh, love offer or something that you're absolutely going to love, even if this is work, because this represents work. This represents emotions and feelings. And in your advice position, it's saying, go for it. This is the opportunity of fulfilling something emotionally for you. And it's saying, go for it and do it. Um, others of you, it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio also coming towards you. Now in your outcome, High Priestess, Pisces, Ace of Swords. Someone is not communicating or there is some kind of withholding information and or lying. Uh, these two cards right now, right here is telling me lack of communication with somebody, somebody that you're not talking to. Seven of cups, you're either confused or you're reviewing your options. You're like, which one do I drink? One is amazing. One is poison. Magician, you're trying to manifest something here and you do in your outcome. You manifest it. King of swords. There you are. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you, <coughs> excuse me. Mana, you're trying to manifest a situation with somebody that you're not talking to right now, or there's a lack of communication and you're, because you're trying to maybe possibly buy time. I don't know, but there's an opportunity here of you being really emotionally happy with somebody, but I see you confused. All right. Again, confused, not knowing what to do. What's the right decision? I think you're trying to debate between passion and love versus stability and finances. I don't know. It, it, I, I could be wrong. It's just the feeling I have. All right, let's see. What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, because I feel like you, you care about your finances and your stability and somebody being there for you all the time versus, you know, you also being emotionally happy. It's it's like a, a thing for you here. Yeah, there you are, the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see. Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides. What is the Six of Pentacles and Page of Wands in reverse? This is definitely to do with a lover and a marriage. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel that. Um, yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. It's exactly, yeah, marriage. Marriage, foundation, living with somebody, moving in with somebody, laying the brick and mortar of your company, business, job. And look at this. One is passion. One is stability. Maybe you see yourself as this, nurturing, loving, and caring like this queen of pentacles over here, right? Who is um, financially stable, has her shit together. And then all of a sudden, this here comes this hot dude or hot chick. And you're very attracted to them. And they're very passionate. They're very fun. They're very exciting. They're very lovable. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe this is somebody you're also dealing with. But it is a lot to do with, you know, stability in your foundation because there's that king of pentacles I keep seeing. This is coming towards you, Gemini. And I don't know what you're worried about. I think maybe you're worried that there might not be stability. But the universe is bringing you this, this person, this, this stability here. But this is you. This is you wanting excitement and fun and you're maybe you, th there's two people in your world that's stable, secure. While the other person's exciting and fun. But you're trying to find stability with the exciting, fun person. I just don't think that maybe you doubt them. I don't know. Because you are confused over a situation here. Let's put that back where they belong. Now, let's see what this is. Why do we have the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands in reverse, please? Please leave me your comments. There's thousands of you Geminis out there, so you know not everybody's going to resonate. I knew it had to do with a lover. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was sensing it the whole entire time. And this is another card of Gemini. Yeah, look at this. The chariot in reverse and the hermit in reverse. I knew it. This is this is stagnation. This is the epitome of stagnation. It's neither here, neither there. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. And it has to do with a lover. And the hermit in reverse. It's like... um saying, you know, you need to come out of your hidey hole, but right now you're not using all the lessons that you learned in life. You're not being, illum you're not illuminating yourself. You're not using your inner wisdom because you're not doing anything. You're not taking any kind of action. What's a type of action, Gemini? Type of action is communicating with everybody because this is not going to be good for you. This in reverse. You want this upright. You want to be on the same page with whomever, 
and how many ever people you're dealing with in order to make the right decision. So what's coming towards you is an indecision with this lover. That's exactly what I was vibing earlier. But there, you can have emotional contentment. I told you this at the bottom of the deck. There you are, single, independent. Having received um, some uh, message based off emotion. And you are like frozen. You're frozen. You don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's see. What's this Ten of Cups? Honestly, I'm glad that the Ten of Cups didn't fall on the... Uh, the lovers didn't fall on the Ten of Cups. I'll explain in a second. Because that's just only going to tell me how you feel. But this falling in the position of uh, what's coming towards you is what I really want to see. Now, this is the card you want. You want the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Cups. That's what you want. Look at this. You, emotionally feeling happy. You and your partner. It's doubling down. Healing. Somebody here needed to heal. Because somebody couldn't see the value in you or you couldn't see the value in this person. Because someone here needed to heal from a past trauma, whatever that trauma was. Because here it is, lack of communication with this person right now. With somebody that you value to be, you know, something you can grow with. Someone you can grow with. That's what it's saying. The universe is like, someone here wants to offer you stability and love. Go for it. Well, the you know, that Ace of Pentacles is solid. I think you've been denying maybe where this person has been denying you. What's this Ace of Pentacles in this King of Cups, please? Yeah, this is your justice for the for the traumas and the bullshit that you might have been through in the past. Somebody here has been peeping you for a while. It could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I think this is your energy. You know, yeah, in the past, you had some kind of ending with somebody that you walked away with from somebody that you had a lot of love. They weren't giving you love back. So you walked away and you ended it and you sliced them out. But then you said, I got to do me. And then here it is in your advice position. The universe is gifting you, gifting you this because they see that you're a wounded warrior and you're exhausted and you're guarded emotionally. They're saying it's time to drop the emotional guards over here. They're like, take a second look, because this is clarifying this, accepting this solid new beginning from somebody who really emotionally loves you. The universe is like saying, let them reward you. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about, what, why this lack of communication is happening with this person. This is like somebody you're not talking to right now and lack of communication. It's going to happen because this eventually is going to turn upright. But the problem is either someone is withholding information or lying or just you just have not communicated yet. I see you trying to manifest this situation, but you might be confused. Let's say universe angel spirit guys help me clarify the seven of cups. The king of swords, the magician, face of swords in reverse and the high priestess. Yes, maybe you're dealing with somebody from the past that you were married with, that you had um, a failed marriage, or this person had a failed marriage, and that's why they're so defensive, because somebody here got burned in the past. So they're kind of like keeping guard, and you know, they're, they're, there's a lack of communication in regards to this situation. Someone here is not opening up regarding some past pain or divorce or situation or defending this, this marriage. It's something to do along with a marriage and defending it. And this looks like a fallout of a marriage. So somebody here that you, this could be a new lover for some of you. I don't know if this is also possibly a reconciliation with somebody from your past, but there's the stark Aquarius at the bottom of the deck, being hopeful, optimistic, healing. Somebody here needed to heal, but I do see coming towards you happiness and love. And these cards are clarifying this, telling me somebody is defending their past trauma, their past divorce, their past breakup, past marriage, or, you know, the lack thereof of a, of a, of a relationship foundation where you thought it was going there and it just didn't. And someone's fighting for it. It's that vibe. It's that energy. It's different for all of you guys. So let's see what your romance angels have for you. 
Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What do you have for my Geminis, please? Gemini, thank you. Yeah, some of you are thinking about a reconciliation with somebody that you had a foundation with, a stable one, a marriage, having to defend this marriage or defend this divorce because reconciliation is here. Deception is here. Yeah, there was some, I told you, that seven of swords back there. This is somebody cheating, lying, deception. Someone deceived somebody in this dynamic. Children, also a situation here. The bottom of the deck, express your love. Express your love. This is not expression. This is not communication. And it's telling you this is what you need to do. Guys, these are weekly readings. They're not like, you know, your, your be all and end all. Let's see what your advice is here. These cards are right on point. Some of you could be reconciling with a lover. Somebody that you were in and out with, on and off with, and somebody was deceiving themselves that you were not their person. And they were deceiving you in this love ship because children might have been an issue for them. Meaning, maybe they were worried what their kids thought and they came out of a marriage. And I, I have no idea. But it doesn't matter because you have a win-win in your forecast, full moon in Libra. Uh... Your commitment is being tested for first quarter moon. And a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So let's talk about timing. So you do have a new romantic cycle coming in, or you recently had one, which started right around now, Libra season. Um, your commitment is being tested with this person that you have on your mind. And a win-win outcome is in the forecast, the full moon in Libra. New moon in Libra, full moon in Libra. This is a six-month cycle. So all the way from like September to April, this is going to be like a little bit of a rocky situation or it's going to go back and forth or on and off. But in April, it will resolve itself. You will have a win in April um, with this new romantic cycle that you just started or going to start, which is very interesting. Uh, new moon in Capricorn. Absolutely. Your hard work is paying off. This is January. I'm telling you. So from now up until April, this whole thing is going to iron out. But expect, like, you know, in Capricorn, things to start uh, moving smoothly, guys. That's what I see. That's what I have. Leave me your comments, Gemini. And I will see you on the next one.